Hey guys, today I will be going over our binocular safety tethers. Two safety tethers are included with each harness for the binocular pack. Um, they are removable from the harness and they come with quick disconnect buckles so you can disconnect your binoculars from the harness for tripod glassing. I'm going to first show you how to take them on and off the harness. So as you can see, the loop that holds them on is called a slotted loop. So this allows you to weave it on to the harness um, and take it off, but it's still very secure. So as you can see, there's two already on the harness. If I pull it to one side, the whole harness, the whole tether pops off. I can then weave it back on. So it's permanently attached. Um, we make these removable because some, some customers like to take them off. We recommend keeping them on at all times just in case you drop your expensive binoculars. The safety tethers will catch them and keep your binoculars in front of the pack. Um, so that is how they attach to the harness. The next thing that we want to show you is they come with a small side release buckle. You can just disconnect that here with this and then it comes apart. This piece will stay attached permanently to your binoculars while the upper portion will attach to your harness permanently. Um, I am just for going to show you how to attach them. I have one on this side of the binoculars already and I trimmed the excess webbing and burned it. This side I'm going to install right now and show you how they go on and show you how you can adjust the length depending on where you like your binoculars to sit. So most binoculars nowadays all have a 3 8 inch loop that is on the side of the binocular. These Swarovskis um, have a different attachment that you have to install. Uh, before they always came on standard. Now you have, it's called the strap loop connector and you have to install that after the fact. Um, comes with all brand new binoculars from Swarovski. So you just attach that loop and you're going to take this lower portion and you're going to feed the webbing. You're going to first put this, this slider towards the, the female buckle and then you're going to take this webbing, slide it through this loop as you guys can see and then you're going to retrace the webbing from the bottom side as it comes through on the top. So you're going to create yourself a little bit of a, a, call it a pooch right there. And I'm going to take this webbing, insert it from the bottom. It's going to go in the buckle and it's going to come back down. And as you can see now, <clears throat> the webbing is going through this tri-glide over the top and through back through the bottom. So now it is permanently attached to the binocular pack. You can cinch this down pretty tight and make this nice and short like I have with this one. This is the smallest setting that you can make it. Um, this nylon webbing, you can cut this tag end and burn it. I recommend giving yourself about a quarter inch to a half inch of a tag end like this, so in case there's some movement, you, it's not going to disconnect from the tri-glide. Um, but essentially you would just take this with your scissors, cut it off, burn it with a lighter, make sure you burn it nice and good so it doesn't start to fray, and that will um, just keep it permanently short. You can make this longer depending on how you have your bino harness and where your binoculars like to sit, so you can adjust this length here as well. But this is how you properly attach the safety tethers to the binocular pack. You need to make sure you need to retrace the webbing through the bottom, matching the top. So that will keep it secure. It will not slip and permanently protect your binoculars when you drop them and don't put them in the pouch. So make sure you check them out at marsupialgear.com.